It's time for this week's episode of Brandon Sports Talk, featuring in-depth interviews from those who are trending in the world of athletics. And now, here's the host of Brandon Sports Talk, Brandon Pate. Welcome back to Brandon Sports Talk. In today's episode, I have the privilege to interview the Nashville Predators emergency goalie, Dustin Smith. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing good. Can you talk about how you knew you wanted to get into hockey? Um, honestly, I I kind of fell in love with the sport early on. I mean, growing up, um, starting out in California, growing up in San Diego around the time the Mighty Ducks movie came out, that really caught me right in the childhood. But, you know, moving to Nashville around um, age 11, you know, was really when I had an opportunity to start playing. And yeah, I just dove right into it. Can you talk about the teams that you played for in the NHL before going to Nashville? Yeah, I mean, I, I haven't actually played on any NHL teams, but um you know, I, I have practiced with the Preds since um, since the lockout in 2012. And then I, I did have an opportunity to go to Florida when they had their goal of a lifetime um, contest uh, and basically went through a sort of tryout to kind of be their emergency goalie for the rest of that year. Can you talk about what the role of an emergency backup goalie is like? Yeah, I mean, the emergency goalie just goes to the games, you know, they typically bring their gear with them and, and they're on call just in case there's any kind of emergency situation. And it, it could be for the home team or the away team. So, you know, there's there's things that happen in hockey and uh, the emergency goalie's there to um, fill in if you need it. Can you talk about, you said that you also play for away teams if need to be. How difficult is that if you're already like, kind of sign with Nashville and like let's say the Carolina Hurricanes have like their goalie that gets hurt and you have to go in to play against your teammates how difficult is that um you know honestly at the end of the day it's it's playing hockey you know um you're competitive you know you obviously want to win and uh you know playing against your buddies is no different so you know it's 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 really not not that big of a deal, you know. You just go out and play. Are there times that you have went on the opposing team to be their emergency goalie? Um, I have been called downstairs to get dressed for the Boston Bruins once. Um, I ended up just sitting in the locker room, didn't end up playing, but uh, that's about as close as I got. How is it like to be the Boston Bruins emergency goalie? Uh, it was it was a pretty crazy experience, you know, everything kind of moved really fast at first. And then, you know, sitting in the locker room, um, you know, you're half dressed, you're watching the game go on and, you know, you're kind of nervous at first, but once the nerves kind of settle in, it, it, it was, it was a great experience. What are some of your favorite memories of coming to Nashville and playing for Nashville? Um, honestly, the, the experience I had practicing with the team during the lockout might, might be one of the best experiences. I mean, being there with a the team for about three months and, you know, really getting to know the players and, you know, playing with those guys for that long was, was definitely up there. Can you talk about the 2017 um, whenever you came in for the Boston Bruins? Yeah. So, Second period, uh, Tuka Rass took a puck to the throat and, you know, he ended up having to sit out. So I got the call. I went downstairs, uh, you know, got dressed real quick, ended up sitting back there in the locker room and, um, you know, crazy experience when, uh, you know, guys like Chara come in and, and shakes your hand, says, thank you for helping us out. And, and, you know, definitely, you know, up there with one of the better hockey moments I've had. What other times have you come into games? That's the only time I've been called downstairs to get dressed. So, you know, other than that, it's just been, 
you know, showing up to the game, sitting in my seats with, uh, you know, my gear uh, ready to go. But uh, yeah, that's, that's it. What is the practice like in the NHL? The practices are awesome. I, I love getting a call to come practice with the team. I mean, being able to skate with players of that caliber is unreal. So, you know, I really look forward to those phone calls when I get them. Who are some of the players that you have played against? Like, have you played against Jeff Skinner or PK? Um, PK? Yeah, so PK played here in Nashville for a while. So I had the opportunity of practicing with him. And, you know, before him, there was Shea Weber. So I had a great opportunity to practice with him for a while. So, you know, really, really awesome guys like, you know, even Marty Erad and JP Dumont and, you know, David Leguan and all these guys that, you know, really kind of um, got their name playing here in Nashville. How does it feel whenever you suit up for in the Nashville Predators jersey, whether it's practice or coming in for a game? It's it's great. I mean, you you definitely get um, a certain level of nervousness, but also excitement at the same time, you know, to be able to put on even just a practice jersey and, and step out and, you know, skate with world-class players, you know, guys like Roman Yossi. What are some of your future plans whenever it comes to getting in the NHL? Um, as far as playing in the NHL, you know, I'm, I'm 32 now, you know, kind of, uh, you know, getting up there in age. So as far as playing in the NHL, I think those days might be over. The closest thing I'm probably going to get is, um, you know, being an emergency goalie and, and, um, you know, being put in that kind of situation. So what advice would you give upcoming future hockey players looking to play in the NHL? Well, I mean, coming up as a young player, hoping to play in the NHL obviously takes a ton of hard work. You know, you have to try to stand out from everybody else because at the end of the day, it's, it's a job. And, you know, there's a lot of other people that are equally as qualified trying to take that job. So, you know, you got to stay competitive, stay on top of your game and, and, uh, you know, in, in the long run, try to have fun with it too. can't forget that part. Where can my listeners find you at on social media? So everyone can find me on Instagram as dembones underscore dembones. And then I just started up a YouTube channel called Bonesy TV. That's wonderful. Can you talk about your YouTube channel and what you do? Yeah, so it's a project I've been wanting to start for a while now. And, um, you know, finally just kind of jumped into it not too long ago here. But, uh, you know, I, I try to do all kinds of different things from, you know, gear reviews to fun kind of things and, you know, vintage gear that I just got and, uh, you know, a lot of fun on ice stuff. Do you have a favorite Nashville Predators jersey that you have worn or that you've seen? So I have put on the Preds Winter Classic jersey. I was I was a fan of the Winter Classic jersey. I thought they did a pretty good job of that. Um, honestly, I really like my my Preds practice jersey. Um, you know, it's just a practice jersey, but it's I just love the fit of it. And um, you know, when Adidas kind of took over there and started making practice jerseys, I really like the look that they had. Can you talk about the moment whenever you, of course, had your name on the back of your jersey whenever you played? whenever you come in? Yeah, so I, I ended up having a jersey uh, sent to me by the Boston Bruins when I, I came in for them. And um, yeah, it was, it was such a cool thing to see a, an NHL jersey with my name on it. That's wonderful. Is there any other future plans whenever it comes to either coaching in hockey or playing in hockey? Yeah, you know, I, I did some coaching here in Nashville for a little bit. And, um, you know, I definitely kind of plan on getting back into that a little bit, maybe even this year. But I mean, as far as playing hockey, you know, hockey is such an awesome sport. You can kind of create your own individual lifestyle around hockey. So, you know, moving forward, it's, it's still, um, you know, playing a ton of men's league, you know, doing fun social media stuff and hopefully traveling around and doing some fun things once everything kind of cools off. That's wonderful. Thank you again, Dustin, for your interview and best of luck in your future. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks for having me.
You can find Brandon Sports Talk on Facebook at Brandon Sports Talk, Instagram at Brandon Sports Talk, Twitter at talk underscore Brandon, and you can find me on YouTube at Brandon Sports Talk. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you again, Dustin, for your interview, and best of luck. Appreciate it. Cheers. It's time for this week's episode of Brandon Sports Talk, featuring in-depth interviews from those who are trending in the world of athletics. And now, here's the host of Brandon Sports Talk, Brandon Pate.